What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and in today's video, it'll be the first impressions for the new Archer character that just launched on Xbox, so I've been playing for about an hour and a half, and we're up to level 24. This is a spot where we fight a lot of enemies in a row, so I thought this would be a good point to talk about the character and give my first impressions. Along with the character, we did get uh, new event quests. They're not the greatest. For two hours, you get an item scroll for 60 minutes. And a value pack. So that value pack is good, but I'm going to try to save them up. I do have a value pack active. So as much as I can play three hours, I'm going to so that I can get save up as many value packs as possible. We did get also new quests for the art or new uh, challenges for the archer. A little bit lackluster for getting to level 56, 57, and 58. Um, getting them to 56 to awaken will get you 10 million gold. So that's not bad. 15 Blackstone Weapons, 15 Blackstone Armors, and 5 Valk's Cries. Not terrible. 57 will get you another 10 million. 3 Sharp Blast Crystal Shards, 3 Hard Black Crystal Shards, and 10 Memory Fragments. A little bit better. And then the level 58, you'll get 3, so 30 million gold. You'll get a plus 30 Advice of the Valk's, and you'll get 2 of these Light Special Gifts. There's some really terrible stuff you can get out of here, so keep that in mind. I wish it was just all the good stuff. Your odds of probably pulling Basilisk, Gaieth, Red Nose, Begs, Muskin, Centaur, and Blue Whale Molar Earrings is probably not very good. Tree Spirit Belt also is, is a decent pull. Uh, but you'll probably end up with Crone Stones, Memory Fragments. So I plan to just get archer to 56 if i really like it 57 i'm not gonna force myself to 58 but if i'm feeling it and i want to get him to 58 i will i will so let's go ahead i'm gonna pop this pop my bonus xp because why not uh we're trying to get we're trying to level up as quick as possible so yeah that's what's that's what's that's what's going on so let's go ahead i do have some skills I need to take a look at, but I wanted to talk about the character first and what I like and what I don't like. So I really, this is a like a like and a dislike. I really like how active you are, but it's also kind of a detriment because you have to be kind of, there's a lot of movement to this, like a lot, a lot of movement. It's not, it's, it's the most movement of any character I've played so far. So... That should tell you a lot, because I played a lot of characters on Xbox. There's a lot of just moving or movement to get away from enemies and to create better opportunities for for your your combos, I guess. To create better opportunities, because most of your combos... The only combo that I have that's close range, that's not what I wanted. Put that away. There's this skill right here, which is a fine skill, but it's, you know, obviously coming up close quarters with anybody and doing this is not going to work. You most you want to do your bow. It's it's the best bet. And there's various skills. We do get our awakening weapon to start with. You don't get any of the awakening skills, which makes sense. But you do in fact get your awakening. Oh, that's also something I forgot. I'll talk about in that in a second. But you do get your awakening weapon. It's the great bow that I'm currently using right now. I think I prefer the base skills for it more than I prefer the skills for the regular archer that look or the regular crossbow i guess not the regular archer the regular crossbow the regular crossbow it has obviously it's better because it has more skills right now but i think once we get awakening the great bow is going to be just exponentially crazily better it's going to be amazing clear all these guys out clear those chargers I do have pretty good, like, you don't actually do this much damage with the weapons in the game. I did buy a weapon, just just so we're all clear here. I did go ahead and buy a plus 12 as well crossbow. I plan to get it to plus 15, and so, yeah, that's why I have so much money. So what I want to talk about here real quick is the event archer seals, so you can see what you could turn those in for. Two is a blackstone armor, three is a blackstone weapon, 14 is a hard black crystal shard, and 30 is a sharp black crystal shard. So not a bad deal at all. I also, I had a bear's belt and a bear's necklace, both pry, just sitting in my market because I can't sell them. So I decided not, I might as well throw them on this character because why not? 
why not have a little bit of fun? But we did hit level 25, so as long as you die and no one else comes over here. I don't want to move and attract someone else. Okay, we're good. So skills. So we did unlock some new skills here, which is what I wanted to, to show, is that we unlocked, um, we unlocked all of these. The Grace of Sylvia is just AP and crit chance. Of, all right, patrol. Chill. Okay. Go back in the skills. So Wings of Justice 2 is probably the one that I use the absolute most. So I am going to go ahead and pick this up because that's really important for me. Uh, Earth Splitter, not one that I use too much of, but I do like the X skills. I don't use Protection of Spirits at all right now. Wrath of Nature is one that I want to start using, but I don't really use that now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Earth Splitter right now. It's going to take care of most of the remaining skill points I have, but this is that skill. I need to, or not, that's not the Earth Splitter skill. This is the skill I need to start using more. It's an amazing skill, especially when you're close up on top of enemies. It's definitely what I need to start doing. But it kind of, it's weird because it's one of the skills... Archer has very few skills that are like stand still and use. That's one of them. And then this is the other one. Which is a really, really powerful skill that I love. But it's it's kind of weird. It's, it's hard to get used to because you're so used to going and moving and having crazy movements that it's weird when you use a skill that requires you to not be moving. Because you can't use that skill... Um, very well while you're moving it just doesn't work it wants to use different it wants to use another skill essentially it doesn't want to use it wants to do that back dodge skill not the the five arrows shot out like that so that's kind of why you gotta you gotta kind of pay attention to what you're doing if you're not then it's gonna i guess it's gonna cause issues it's not gonna cause issues but it's not gonna use the spell that you wanted or the skill that you wanted to is essentially what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to figure out the best use for this skill. The like, the like slashes. I don't really think there is a great use for it because I'm thinking it's, this is a better skill. Like if someone's on top of you because it's for sure guaranteed to hit. I mean, if you're like right up on a dude here, like if I'm right up on this tower here and I use this, all five of those hit. Like, if you're point blank with an enemy, you're gonna hit. And so, I don't know why you would use that other one. Maybe... I guess maybe if you're low... Actually, I don't know. I don't know a reason why you would use it. There's gotta be a reason. I mean... But, it's just kind of one of those... I guess if you, you could combo it, if you... I know this is gonna kill this guy, but you could do that. And then dash forward into a group and slash. But other than that, I don't really know the purpose of it. Can I jump? That's the one problem with this character is that I end up doing... It's, it's my fault. It's not the character. It's my fault. I just end up doing like those... The like... Uh, Wings of Justice and whatever the other one's called. It's the, there's, there's one where it goes... There's this one. Meteor Dive, which is forward. And... There we go. Then there's the uh, Wings of Justice, which is backwards. That's the... They're, they're the same skill, but one's just forward and one's just backwards, but... I end up accidentally doing those when I'm trying to jump over stuff. I haven't nailed down a rotation yet here. I'm still working on that. That skill I accidentally use a lot, too. Like, that would have been a good point. Like, right here, if I didn't just do that. This is a good point to use that skill. But I just gotta... I gotta figure out my rotation that I want to do for this. I kind of have, like, an abstract rotation right now of what I want to... what I do, but it's not very... Like, no one could pinpoint down what I'm doing here, but it's kind of just different... It's just kind of rotating all over all the skills that I have, like, memorized in my head, like... LTA and LTA, LTA, RB, RB side to side and back, forward, A, LTX. There's just a lot of different skills like that. 
I'm still not entirely sold on the class. I like the class, but I'm not entirely sold that it'll be more than just a leave it a boss and world boss. I want it to be more than that, but I'm I'm not entirely sure that it will be more than that. It's kind of one of those things. I, I want it to be really good, but I don't I don't think it's going to be. It, it all depends on how the Awakening skills work, because obviously we don't have those now. We have the Awakening weapon, but we don't have the Awakening skills. So it'll come down to kind of what are we, what are we dealing with when it comes to the Awakening skills. Because I like the bow more than the crossbow, like the arm crossbow, but obviously the arm crossbow is clearly more powerful right now for me, because I have skills for it one and I bought a plus 12 so clearly it's gonna be better hmm, that really that range on that's kind of bad it's definitely a close it's it's definitely a close quarters thing here definitely not for long range how about right here eh, not bad I guess the longer range stable attack is this one. That's the longer range option. Still not extremely wrong, like long range, but it's pretty good for high damage at a distance. I do really like the um, the meteor uh, dive and the wing of justice because it takes you out of the fight for half a second. So that you have a chance to kind of reset, and if you need to heal, it'll lower your healing time. It'll give, It just gives you, it gets you out of the fight for half a second, um, which I think is really helpful. Especially, especially once I get to places where I don't just like absolutely destroy the world. Uh, where I am, I do need to pay attention to damage taken and damage received. It, well, that's the same thing. Damage taken uh, and, and the health damage. So, when that becomes a thing, I think those skills will become very useful, like, because they'll get, they'll get you, they get you out of the fight, and there's two of them, so you can get real, you can get out of the fight for a good second and a half, two seconds, which is, uh, which is pretty amazing, it, it's very, I think it's gonna be really helpful in the, in the long run. That's an assumption I'm making, I don't actually know, but it's an assumption I'm making. But I'm going to have to gear this character because I have to be playing Camasylvia on my main and I don't want to have to run back and forth. That'll just be a gigantic waste of time. See, I did it again where I jumped to... I jumped to... Uh, or I did my diving meteor when I wanted to just jump over. So go ahead and complete that. And deliver this false info. I'll go fight the boss in this episode and then we'll call it the episode because I think that's where we are right now right correct we're at yes we're at al rundi boss fight okay so let's go fight al rundi it uh it's an interesting class uh i like it more than most of the other classes at this point like i still don't i still want to love dark knight but i'm not convinced i like dark knight um i i would rank it right now just at level 26 probably somewhere between right below ranger which would be fifth, I think, because it would be Sork, Lan, Reluctantly Dark Knight. I'm still not sure I like Dark Knight, but she ranks third. Dark Knight, Ranger, and then Archer here. I think I think that's the order I'd put them in. Ninja's like I, I like him more than Ninja, which I don't know how much that's saying, but I but I do like him more than Ninja. If you're wondering what the name means, it's an ode to the really, I guess the first MMO that I played, which was Conquer Online, and I always played an archer on that. I had to make like a bunch of different accounts because my very first account got hacked, then my second account got banned because they thought I was trying to sell my account, so they banned that account. Then my third account is still a live account somewhere, but I have no idea what email I used, and I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know the character name. don't remember any of it, so I can't log on. 
I plan to get hop on it though and do a couple videos on it just for the heck of it and fun, but that'll be like a little bit into the future. So let's go ahead and fight Alrundi and we can call it a good old episode. Not too long of a video. Should be able to handle Alrundi fairly easily here. Alright. That did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Let me get up on him and try this skill. Eh, that wasn't great. It looked like like four of them missed. I thought it would be better, but did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Throw my little bomb out. That's a skill that I gotta start using more. Okay. Did not get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. That one looked like they all connected. That was really nice. That was, okay, that's it. Okay, so I gotta be a little bit backed up, because it was when I was, like, right on top of him that it gave me the most problems. When, like, I was standing, like, right here up on him, it kind of shot him around him. When I had a little bit of distance in between him and I, like, this much distance, it looked like they all connected, which was really nice. But that's gonna do it. That's kind of my first impressions for this, for uh, the archer. I'm going to try to grind him up to four, somewhere between 40 and 50 before we come back for the next episode. I probably will format the next episode a little bit different. Uh, won't just be, obviously, initial thoughts. So it'll, it'll be something different. But check back tomorrow. It should go up tomorrow sometime in the afternoon. And check back tonight. We'll have the first part of the Sorceress in Comma Sylvia. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.